honey badger, the most fearless animal on earth. Have you heard about the marvelous honey badger? The terror of the savannah and the craziest animal on earth? Of course, at this point, you probably know that honey badger is a badass and it fears no one, but the full story of this fantastic animal is much more complicated. This is Wild Facts, and today we will look at every aspect of the life of the mysterious, dauntless, and absolutely mad fella called Honey Badger. We will learn about its habitat, its relationship with other members of the animal kingdom, and what is so special about it. So if you dare to unveil the cover of the secret life of Honey Badger, let's get started. Where did this fearless little creature come from? The Latin name of the honey badger, or ratel, is Vivera capensis, and our dear friend is the only member of its genus, Melivora. In every aspect of its life, the honey badger would like to be different and unique. That's why it is biologically closer to weasels than other badgers. What a little rebel! The first known ancestors of ratels are dated back to 7 million years ago. The most recent discovery of the whole new species of honey badger's relatives, called Melivora benfieldi, was made in 1978 and described in 2020. But the little honey badger we know and love today appeared on the evolution arena only somewhere between 5.4 and 2.3 million years ago. Hence, they witnessed the whole human history in front of their fearless eyes. Although all honey badgers are one species, these charming animals couldn't handle being all look alike. Nowadays, scientists determine 12 subspecies of honey badgers that mostly differ in size and color of the spine line, some of which can even be albino, but they are all one family, so they all love each other. Dear Honey Badger, or where does it live? Our little friends love warmer climates and mainly live in the western part of Asia, sub-Saharan Africa, and the Indian Peninsula. Although they love warm places where honey badgers can find an abundance of their favorite food, they actually can and live in various areas. They successfully adapt to surviving in forests and high cold mountains, so it is safe to say that if the little ratel wants to live somewhere, it will do it. These animals make their own homes, and almost anything can do the job. It can use old hollow trees, rock crevices, and even other animals' burrows to make a shelter. It all depends on the animal's personal trait, but if a little honey badger can't find something fitting its high standards, our fellow will dig his own burrow with its masterful hands with great claws. Usually this burrow is pretty deep and long. Honey badgers can create a tunnel that is up to 5 feet 1.5 meters deep and about 9 feet 3 meters long. This tunnel ends with a nice room where our friend can sleep and rest. Ratels are loners and live on their own in these burrows. Only occasionally a couple of males can create a group for protection. However, most of the time, honey badgers enjoy the single life of bachelors and bachelorettes. I bet these rooms for one and burrows look pretty nice. And if not, I wouldn't dare to tell it to a honey badger. The Honey Badger's Impeccable Appearance most ratels rock incredibly thick and sparse black fur only with one splash of color on its spine, stylish white line. As I mentioned, this line can be thinner or thicker depending on the subspecies, but one of them, MC Kateni, doesn't have this line at all and it is completely black. Honey badgers are the biggest terrestrial mustelids in Africa and they surely are proud of this title. In Asia, ratels lose their special place to hog badgers unfortunately. All honey badgers are long with strong short legs with remarkable claws. On average, an adult male honey badger will weigh somewhere between 14 to 35 pounds, 6.4 to 16 kilograms, depending on the subspecies, with an average weight of about 20 pounds, 9 kilograms. As for females, despite really similar size to males, they are lighter and usually weigh from 11 to 22 pounds, 5 to 10 kilograms. The smallest of them is the Indian badger, MC Indica. Honey badgers are stocky animals, and on average, an adult ratel will be only about 11 inches tall in shoulder height, and its length varies drastically from 25 to 44 inches, 63.5 to 111.7 centimeters, with a tail depending on subspecies. Superpowers of the ratel. So let's move to the most exciting stuff, the superpowers this small animal possesses. 
The first will be its incredibly loose skin that can move freely and can make the Rattel's enemy's life absolutely miserable. The thickness of skin varies on the animal's body, and on the neck, it reaches a quarter of an inch, six millimeters, and biting through it is really hard for animals that depend on this kind of attack. The second superpower of this awesome animal is that it can handle snake's poison really well, and it usually only knocks out a little guy and rarely kills it. And the bite itself happens pretty rarely too, because it is not so easy for a snake to bite in the thick Rattel's skin. The third superpower of this amazing fella is the ability to create a very smelly spray during a fight that disorients an attacker. This method is very similar to the skunk's protective smelly substance, and it gives a honey badger plenty of time to fight back. And the last thing is not exactly a superpower, but it is still cool. I refer here to their incredible survival abilities. Honey badgers are really adaptable, and they can swim, climb on the trees, and even make little holes to gather rainwater when needed. That's absolutely a brilliant little survivor. What's on honey badger's plate? Rattels are primarily carnivores, and they prey on all kinds of animals to fill up their bellies. They usually prefer mice, insects, snakes, birds, and turtles. Their small teeth are strong enough to crush turtle shells, which is too much even for crocodiles. Unlike other mustelids, Rattels eat much more meat, but they still occasionally love to bite into fruit, berries, or roots. Of course, the animal's favorite delicacy that even gave its name to our dear fella is honey. When they have a chance, honey badgers attack hives and eat all of the honey and larva there. A little guy's thick skin is strong enough to handle bees bites, so a honey badger couldn't care less when the insect starts stinging it. That's absolutely badass. The Honey Badger versus the World This animal got numerous gifts from nature, and they make it absolutely fearless. Even the Guinness Book of World Records recognizes that. In the wilderness, such an animal like the honey badger should have many predators happy to kill and eat, right? Well, wrong, because most of the time, other carnivores try not to fight this crazy fella, because it is very hard to handle it. We have documented cases when Rattels attack crocodiles, cows, bulls, and even lions, and most of the time, our much smaller friend comes as a winner in these battles. A combination of its fearless attacking nature extraordinary thick and loose skin, and various protective mechanisms give a honey badger an extreme advantage against almost any predator in the world. And even if a predator kills honey badger, its thick skin is really hard to eat, so Rattels are not good as food either. It is now obvious that only crazy ones are dumb enough to attack an innocent honey badger. Rattels and Humans Of course, even an apex predator can be conquered by the creatures who hold the most power in their hands, humans. Relationships between humans and honey badgers are not easy. Rattels love attacking poultry, and sometimes even cattle, and they are known for their surplus killing habit. People that live in the honey badger's natural habitat set traps and kill the Rattels if they see them near their homes. Also, our little friends are reservoirs for rabies, so people may even kill them in the wilderness even when honey badgers pose no danger to a particular person. Luckily, honey badgers are primarily nocturnal animals, and they prefer resting in their caves during days and do not meet any humans on their way. It also helps these animals avoid many fights with other big and powerful predators of their habitat, because almost all of them hunt in daylight. Did you like this in-depth story about the most fearless animal on Earth? What other absolute nuts of this animal kingdom would you like to see in our other videos? Leave our comments down below. Until the next time, farewell.